welcome to the project demonstration of solar wind and grid basic charging system for electric grid in this project we are using solar panel step down transformer and wind energy so and also we are using h bridge pick microcontroller 12 volt 1 uh, 12 volt 2 amp battery with ac load and also using a uh, small rectifier and multimeter so the main aim of this part is to ch uh, charge this battery using these three sources one is a solar source another one is a wind source and here we can see the uh, electrical source so we can charge this battery using these three sources so first of all i will show you how wind will be generate the uh, power supply so if we rotate this one in a clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction so we can see here light indication so it will generate a power that power will be given to this rectifier through rectifier we can charge this battery and also we can charge this battery using this solar panel so if we put this one in a uh, sunlight so it will generate a power that will be given to this rectifier then rectifier will uh, charge this battery so in a sunlight we can see also light indication over here and also here we can see we are using a step down transformer so Uh, we will give uh, 230 volts of power supply from this cable that will be uh, given to this step up step up step down tra transformer primary side and will step up step down up to 12 volt 1 amp that will be given to this rectifier so rectifier converts ac to dc through converted dc will be given to this 12 volt 2 amp battery so we can see the light indication which means battery get charging if you want to charge this battery in electrically so we need to charge this more than 4 to 5 hours and also one doubt will be raised in our mind that solar will be generate a dc power supply and wind also generate a dc power supply but again we are giving this power supplies to the rectifier but rectifier converts ac to dc generally in this uh, project we are using these two circuits because uh, reverse uh, to protect the reverse voltage from the devices so solar will generate a power that will be given to this rectifier then this rectifier act as a reverse voltage protector so the battery become higher potential the voltage will be come back to the solar panel then if uh, reverse voltage will be come to the solar panel then it will be damaged at the same time wind energy uh, wind generator also damaged so in order to protect this devices from the reverse voltage we are using this rectifier so rectifier have a diodes that allows only forward current it doesn't allow any reverse current and we can see here rectifier here rectifier act as a uh, ac to dc converter it takes ac voltage and it is a full full wave bridge rectifier then it will convert up to uh, 12 volts dc that 12 volts dc will be given to this battery directly and also we can on the ac load using this bridge rectifier so the bridge rectifier act as here inverter so inverter generally converts dc power to ac power so we can see here inverter so this is the battery connection of the inverter h bridge rectifier and this is the output of the h bridge rectifier and these are the signals so the signals will be generated by this pick microcontroller so we can see these connections are connected with the pin number c0 and c1 so in this h bridge rectifier we will give the pulses to the gate using this c0 c1 connection so the pulses will be generated by this pick microcontroller that pulses will be given to this each gate of this mosfet boards so this is the full uh, full wave h bridge converter so the pulses uh, using this uh, gate pulses it will generate ac ac waveform so it will converted uh, dc current to ac current so that will be uh, so here we can see the output of this h bridge rectifier it is a ac that will be given to this step up transformer then step up transformer will step up the voltage from 12 volts to 12 volts ac to 230 volts ac that 230 volts ac will be given to this bulb at the same time we are taking the readings of this ac bulb using this rectifier so rectifier converts here also rectifier converts ac to dc so we are taking the readings in a dc value that's why we we have put here a small rectifier it takes the ac ac 230 volts ac power and it will be converted into dc that dc will be measured in this multimeter so we need to set this one in a 
200 and after that we need to see the values now for the pic microcontroller to on the pic microcontroller we need to switch on this one so we can see light indication and also the converted dc we can see here 55 volts and if you off this one then automatically ac load will be get switched out and also here we can see it is a 12 volt uh, 2 amp uh, battery so if we give 2 volts to a pic microcontroller then it will be burn so in, in order to protect this pic, pic microcontroller we are using a regulator so regulator takes input of 12 volts that will be converted into uh, it, it will be stepped down up to 5 volts that 5 volts will be given to this pic microcontroller because pic microcontroller will be works on the 5 volts of power supply and we can see here the battery so battery each battery have a 4 volts 1 amp capacity so if we add the batteries in a series so voltage will be added remaining current will be same now it, uh, now this uh, this will be a 12 volt 1 amp capacity so 12 volt 1 amp capacity if we add in a parallel then it will become a current will be added and the remaining voltage will be same so it will become a 12 volt 2 amp battery in this way this provide will be works thanks for the watching